Today we're going to be checking out the 200S Smart Air Purifier, and Lavoie did send this to us to check out. Now this thing is great, it's going to be able to take care of a house or room <laughs> that is 1900 square feet, uh, has a really easy to change out air filter, and that air filter will last you a long time. You should only need to change it once every six to 12 months, depending on you know the air quality. Uh, it'll give you a notification on here and in the app. We're gonna go over all that right now. All right, so as far as your controls up here, uh, you're gonna start off here with the power button. All you have to do is hit it. All these are, you know, touch control, and we'll go ahead and turn it back on. You do have an auto function over here, which will automatically control the fan based on the air quality. Uh, you're gonna have a reset button slash night mode, which will dim down the lights whenever it is dark in the app. You can also change that to do it automatically. Uh, you can adjust the fan speed manually right here. We'll go ahead and bump this up to full blast. Uh, whenever it's full blast, it's still not even that loud and you shouldn't have it at full blast all the time you shouldn't need it at full blast all the time uh, because it will automatically go up and down based on the air quality now if you're doing something you know crazy inside kicking up a lot of dust you have pets smoking around this thing then it will run full blast you have a timer right here really easy to use that and then you have the lock mode right here which i think is great we have cats and my granddaughter around the house so being able to lock this is nice so that they don't come up here touch this and adjust it all right so changing out the air filter on this is really easy just give it a little pull up top both sides and then pull up and this is going to allow you to have access to the filter you're going to have this pre-screen right here you can just pull it out and you can wash this with water every now and then and then inside is where your main filter is going to be it is a carbon filter whenever you first open this there may be a little bit of carbon that dumps out but not to worry easily just put that back in you want this little tab on the outside, obviously, so that you can easily pull it back out. Same thing, this does also have tabs. Make sure those are on the outside. It will really only go in one way. And if you can't remember which way this goes, it's easy, the Energy Star thing. Yes, this does have an Energy Star certification. Just ensure it is pointed straight up. Put this back on and boom, you are good to go. Let's go ahead and go over the app really quick. It's going to be the V-Sync app that you use. And as you can see right now, very good air quality. Uh, I'm in my studio. There's always good air quality here. I will introduce some stuff into this here in just a second so that you can see what it does whenever it detects bad air quality. There is a little detector right over here on this side. It's really easy to clean that as well. It just pops open and you wipe it down with like a little wet Q-tip. Uh, on here, you can set this to like pet, or like I said, you can set it to sleep to where uh, these lights will dim down on there. You can go here to a auto mode and then you can adjust the speed on this also. You can set up some schedules, uh, have it go off on timer, just a lot like the stuff that was up top on here as well. And then with the manual button on here, you can adjust it to uh, whatever speed you want, just like we saw up here up top as well. You do have a few other options in here that you can go into. You can change the device name. You can change the icon if you want to. Access the user manual. Uh, it does have voice controls. So if you have a Google Assistant or an Alexa, it will automatically uh, adjust this uh, whenever you say those magic words and want to control it and stuff. So that's really nice. I do have one over there. Uh, luckily it didn't pick up whenever I said the magic word. Uh, device info, you can go in there and get some info. It will give you some you know, advice in regards to the filter life and say, you know, hey, it's almost time to change it. So that's nice. It'll let you buy a new filter uh, and then you can change the units, a uh, whole bunch of other just basic little things in here. Uh, reminder, every four weeks is what I have it set up to go in here and just clean that pre-filter that I showed you. And then of course the Wi-Fi settings and stuff like that too. Uh, speaking of that, whenever you first get this, all you have to do is open the app, have this plugged in and it'll pop up and say, do you want to add you know, whatever device it is, and it walks you right through it really easily. Now, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. Uh, I'll keep this on the screen so that you can see that air quality. I am going to change this to auto so that it automatically dies down, and then I will get a little bit of smoke inside this. All right, we have that smoke inside there, and then it should automatically bump up here in just a second. Shouldn't take too long to activate that. can already hear that fan speed kicking up right now. And then it should show on our app here in a second, as well as up here, right there you go. It shows bad quality. So 
yeah, that sensor in there works really well. It'll go ahead and run this. I think it actually runs it a little bit longer than it needs to, uh, just to ensure that all those particulates are out of the air. Overall, I've been very happy with this one from Lavoit. I reviewed a whole bunch of Lavoit stuff, never had any issues with them at all. Their customer service is absolutely amazing. So if you're needing something, uh, you know, the seasons are getting ready to change. I highly recommend getting something like this because it always brings up nasty, nasty stuff in the air. So once again, this has been the 200S Smart Air Purifier from Lavoit. Go ahead and check it out.